each set we want to put materials uh, into stores that helps bring the setting to life. So the initial look that we were going for uh, for Kaladesh, it's a world of innovation and invention and optimism. We really sat down with our creative team and said, we want to bring Kaladesh to life. Here's a couple of images that are important to us. We said, why don't we own the skies? Kaladesh has thopters and airships flying around all over the place. Why don't we bring that to life? Well, we need to be adaptable to places like Japan, places like Europe, where their average store footprint isn't like ours here. Looking at the thopters, looking at the airships, looking at their needs from a practical standpoint, and in putting those two together, it, it, the answer just revealed itself. You know, I told them the schedule I gave them when we had to deliver by, and they said, yeah, I, I think we can do that. We had like five weeks to kind of concept the entire thing out. So we really concepted this thing out and just the, um, the first round of ideas. We did the Dragonfly Thopter first, just to make sure that for all the people involved, this is what they were getting. Fortunately, that meeting went very well. Everyone had the same goal in mind, trying to create something that was visually stunning and unique, but also easy to, to assemble. Everyone kind of rallied around it, and Lauren's concepts just kind of made everyone's head explode. Well, I took the concept art from the style guide and I asked wizards to pick one of their thopters they might want to see in a three dimension. And I drew it up and kind of imagined what it might look like from all the different sides. It's not like it's designed for you where you get the front side top view of everything. I don't get to see this in three dimensions, um, actually. I illustrated them flat. To make sure that what I was imagining was correct, I built little models. It does start with me in that I need to think about how it might lay out or package. And then once I, I get it to a point, it goes to Bennett. It was up to us to kind of get those designs and make them manufacturable. You know, some of the, the technical things, slot sizes and, and how things would fold. We'll take uh, Wizard of the Coast's idea and try to make it producible. We'll also give in suggestions, improvements uh, to the, uh, the structure of it. Typically, they'll include a rough set of uh, die lines from Illustrator, and then we need to be able to take that into our CAD software and make sure that's something that our, our die vendor could actually make. The cool thing is our people want to push the envelope, and Wizards wants to push the envelope. From imagination to corrugation, we take the idea and the concept and bring it to life using corrugated paper goods. The energy from enthusiasm and excitement is the most contagious, right? So when you have people that are really excited and really passionate and, and, and have that high energy, it's hard not to get infected by that. I'm on the client end of this, so it, it's kind of like the best seat in the house because you always just get to see other people's creative genius come through. I think the most fun for me, though, was just really getting to watch my colleagues do something incredible. When we got the prototypes from Bennett, we hung up a conference room, had Paul and Liz and everybody come in and seeing them completely lose their minds. And then to tell them, yeah, I think that we can put the, the budget together to actually make this work was one of the most rewarding things that, that I've had happen since I've been here at Wizards. The first time I saw the final project finished, and hanging from the ceiling in our design group. I was just tickled. When you go into uh, a store and you're looking skyward at these, uh, you know, at these stoppers and airships, I mean, it, it's going to bring this, this sense of aspiration. I can't wait to see the fans' reaction to these when they see them in stores. They're just so amazing looking. I kind of hope it blows their minds. <laughs> if they just kind of stop, look at that, and just like, wow, this is really cool. This is gonna be a great set. I wanna be a part of this, and I wanna play this, this game. There's no kit that we've made that I'm more proud of. I think our retailers are gonna go over the moon about it. Our fans will be over the moon about it. That's the, the best you could ask for now. You know, let's see it go out there and do its job. There's like oh, seven whoa, things here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You are actually building an airship? We got this thick package of cardboard bits and paper, and we put it together and made these epic looking ships uh, that we stuck all around the store. They are crazy looking cool. This sort of thing, Magic fans pretty much tend to go crazy for, because it really brings them into the world itself. People have been, who've come into the store since have been pretty amazed by it. So when I walked in the store, I saw these 
uh, cool airships and ornithopters looked like they were made out of paper. I saw the thopters hanging from the ceiling. I thought they were beautiful. The intricacy of them and the design of them is just kind of unbelievable.